What's up, YouTube? It's Trilla Manila. It's day 17 on the Road to Code, 100 Days of Code Challenge. Um, today, well, yesterday, I finally caught, got caught up with where, I, where I'm at with uh, reading-wise and catching up with the notes. That was like another four hours of writing down notes. Um, took down a lot of notes again today. And today is finally like kind of paying off with everything we've been learning so far in JavaScript, like especially regarding the math um that's behind javascript coding because today it was about switches and loops right up to javascript switch loop for and loop while that's where i'm at right now and um <clears throat> it was pretty confusing at first but then once you got to see the real examples of what the loops are used for it makes more sense like uh the first example they have here is about uh getting the right days like uses this example uses the weekday number to calculate the weekday name. So like zero equaling Sunday and then break so that the loop will, it'll stop looping uh, at infinitum so that it can execute the next order. Um, so yeah, seeing it written down in code form helped me understand like, all right, what's the purpose of a loop? Like why does it, uh, like what exactly does it do? Why does it need to stop? How do you increase the loops uh variable etc and yeah just reading about it and then seeing it put into play and it's starting to like come together of like how the language itself is um using more logic behind it compared to html and um css so we're seeing some logical language going on here with the true or false statements and yeah today was pretty much where we get to see it uh come into play so even though it's just a lot of note takings again today and just reading um just starting to feel that payoff because it's starting to make sense like things are clicking um uh, so yeah that's pretty much what the update is today also a new thing that i've been experimenting was that i would read i would time box a shorter amount of time to read and then like double the amount of writing uh like 30 minutes of reading and then like an hour to write what i've read honestly it'd probably be like an hour and a half to read to write of 30 minutes of text that i've just read honestly so it's like around that ratio playing around with that so that it isn't so hectic of me trying to play catch up with what i've read and trying to write down what i've read basically that that took like days and a lot of hours of writing it down because I've read so far ahead compared to um, writing down the notes. So never again. That's what the that's what the experiment is to see what the ratio is of bouncing that out. Because now that I'm caught up, yeah, not trying to play that. So <laughs> that's update for day 17. This is your host, JC, signing out.